Hello to you, my name is Maria Kunczewska and this is Poland Daily Culture. And could you imagine a Polish uh, heavy metal band performing in China? But this was happened to the Scream Makers. And with us is Sebastian Stodolak, uh, the, the main and only vocalist in the band. Thank you very much for coming. Welcome. Uh... And in the previous episode, you told us this a crazy stories how for many years you were performing in China, but also observing how China was changing and changing also in approach of uh, foreign bands and foreign guests, and uh, that eventually you stopped doing it in 2019. Yeah, we stopped doing it because, of course, the pandemic, pandemic spread out uh, a year later. Actually, the last time we were in China was August 2019. So imagine in Wuhan, we were in Wuhan. So who knows, maybe it, it's our fault, you know, maybe we brought it here to Europe. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, and this last tour was, was really, um, like I told you, stressful for us because the other day we were playing a big show in the city center, in the park. Also in the middle of the show, a group of maybe 20 policemen came into the show. They demanded from the uh, show producer to cut off the electricity, to stop it. And he started to check all these permissions and so on and so on. We didn't have because nobody in China cares for that unless somebody come to check it. So uh, we were also evacuated to the buses and back to the hotel. This and, sounds crazy. Uh, yeah, and, and the owner, and the owner uh, also, or the producer also started to negotiate probably some kind of a bribe with those guys, with those uniformed policemen. So yeah, China became uh, maybe not hostile to foreigners, less stressful. Of course, that had to do with the policy of uh, Xi Jinping. I mean, that's obvious. Well, definitely, and when it comes to closing a little bit and changing the approach of getting um, towards, um, I would say, ideological openness. Mm -hmm. But it's all a, a little bit crazy, but you still didn't, of course, stop performing. And uh, tell us, coming back to your, your latest CD, uh, which uh, tell us about it and about songs which are there. I think that uh, I could call it a success. So it is a CD that has the warmest reception out of all our pre recordings in total. Uh, so first thing we're doing with it, we're trying to promote it on live shows. We're organizing our own festival this September 1st and 2nd in Warsaw, outdoor. Club race. I invite everybody uh, to to attend. The first day, as uh, there are great bands in among them, for example, Turbo, Polish heavy metal legends like Dorosłe Dzieci is their most famous song. And the the other day, the second day, as uh, there are tributes. Uh, three tribute bands playing. Uh, one is a tribute to Led Zeppelin, one is a tribute to Deep Purple, and uh, the main one is a tribute to Dio, Black Sabbath and Rainbow. So it's like, uh, it's like a day to celebrate the bands that laid foundation for heavy metal. So this is one thing. And the second thing is, uh, I cannot reveal the name of the label, but after we released the material from Blood King, from the latest city, we get an offer from an Italian label, a big one, uh, to kind of uh, sign a contract with them. And we are actually closing the deal right now. Uh, so hopefully in a matter of maybe a week or two, we'll be able to announce it to the world. It's a pretty big deal because it involves optionally, possibly almost six recordings in total. To do so, so it's like a big long-term cooperation. Oh. Let's see how it works out. Congratulations for that. So once again, the title of the, your festival is Outdoor. Uh, the title of the festival is Screamfest. It's like inspired by the name of our band, right? Screamfest, like Scream Maker, Screamfest. Like. Well, well, in September, the, the first yeah. and the second of September, the Scream Fest of the Scream Makers, and they will be playing a lot of songs. And now listen to their latest album, uh, which we present to you here on air in Pervan Daily Culture. Mm -hmm. 